Hi, it's Tyler from Rinstike Tools again. Today I'm going to show you our cable shears or our cable cutters D38. Uh, what's nice about this tool is it's lightweight but very strong. Um, it has hardened steel cutting heads and the way the blades are designed, they're designed to cut through the wire nice and easy instead of crushing it. Um, also the heads are replaceable. So as they get dull, you can replace the heads individually or both at the same time. The other nice feature is the handles are made out of high strength aluminum tubing and they're adjustable. So you can adjust them all the way out so you have a maximum operating range or you can adjust them individually depending on your situation and the space that you're working in. So you can go from this or you can go to this. And the other nice thing is on the one arm it has a ratchet feature so that you can ratchet it in and it has a pivot point so that you bring it all the way in in case you're in a tight space but you need, still need the high strength to be able to cut through a good sized cable like one of these here all the way up to even something like this. So again um, it's multi adjustable you can adjust the handles individually you can adjust the angle of the one arm so that you get maximum leverage on cutting the wire and it's lightweight strong replaceable heads and uh, just a very nice tool. Okay. okay now I'll demonstrate the capabilities of this cable cutter like I was talking to you about before the D38 the adjustability of it. Um, the cardboard box is for just demonstration purposes um, it, would sim it symbolizes a pull box or a junction box where you might have to get into a tight space to cut a cable. Um, if you had to go in with a traditional cable cutter as so like this, if it didn't have any adjustability on it, you wouldn't be able to get into the pull box slash junction box um, to cut the cable. So what's nice about this cable cutter, the D38, is you're able to ratchet, uh, pivot this arm in, all the way in. Now you can go down inside the box, get around the cable, and cut the cable gradually. And you can see the amount of uh, um, the amount of space that I'm taking up with the tool, I'm not moving the arm very much. I'm move, moving it just a few inches to cut through the cable. And now it cuts through the cable because of the ratcheting position here and you're able to get into a much tighter space than a traditional cable cutter.